morning. Take this. Let's go ring the bell. I'll just leave the camera over here. I feel kind of weird walking up to the door with the camera, so maybe it will stay.
she said I could take them. Some old, like, 85-year-old lady. Oh, sir, you can take them. Just move your truck up. I'm getting ready to leave. No. No, dear. I'm so old. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with them, so I taped them to the fence. <laughs> okay. Playing the part pretty well. Like a Tweety Bird lady. Gig must be up. Everybody's in there in the shrink wrap in a six figure lifestyle. <laughs> Kingdom, what are you going to do with the wooden doors? Take all of them if you take one, take all of them. Oh dear, but come on man, 
25 years old, but... Who are you crapping? You know how to... <laughs> One person like that knows how to get rid of the garbage. Just like anybody else. They get a package deal. Some neighborhoods have have milfs, other neighborhoods have milfs that walk dogs, other neighborhoods have jogging milfs. Other neighborhoods have uh, milfs pushing strollers. This one uh, happens to have a lot of uh, uh, milfs to exercise, jogging, running, not too many dog walking milfs here, maybe one or two, but that's about it, from what I can tell. I guess it, it just has to be the area. There you go, I did, I did the roundabout for our couple of my viewers, uh, Big Keg, <laughs> Fat Bastard Garage, and uh, Moose too, and maybe a few others. Uh, most other commenters remain mum on the subject. I've had uh, a few female commenters uh, get really kind of pissed off at me. So, I mean, I can understand.
here in a second. Oh. I'll rub it all over. Oh, copper. Oh. I'll take you back to me, shed. White snobby scrap picker. I don't rub it all over. Oh, oh sorry. What was it? Rub the copper off. Hey, Control yourself. <laughs> snobby, I think we're going to have console. Investigate what goes on in some of these sheds. I don't trust it anymore. I hate about like the GoPro thing is like tackle stacks when he's like picking it. Looks like a. Um, it makes it look like like a video game when he's picking the trash.
kind of camera I would like. If the channel ever got monetized. <laughs> because that, that's where the funding would come from to invest in equipment stuff sent to his house until I guess the, the mailman was deliberately damaging the packages they were getting which is weird not unheard of Scorched Earth Policy. He 
so bad. He left a gigantic mess. I hope the, the video is not upside down now. If it is, it's got something to do with the way the iPhone is set up. And sometimes when it falls, It won't reorientate itself. Citywide mattress. More beds. Oh, an e-scooter. All right. Let's bust it up. stuff that I pick up I got no idea what the hell it is anyway that means you're getting old maybe oh, more stuff okay I know what this is that's been around for the last like 125 years or more this is an exhaust system $1,100 in 
is at stake. And I was, I was losing the contest to um, an older guy at the time. He was um, 67 years old, and he was beating my ass. And I don't know, this is like probably 15 years ago. So this guy is like. I don't know, I was 25 years my senior, at least, so, maybe more, yeah, and, uh, <coughs> he was, he was winning, I mean, he had access to the University of St. Xavier, uh, um, athletic, uh, arena and the gym and all that, so for proper weight training and working out and all that, he had access to some of the best equipment. I don't got time for that. Okay, I, I gotta work. I mean, I don't got like man eating right and all that. Yeah, the weight's coming off. It's coming off too slow. Okay, so I decided I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna up the game all the way. I'm gonna dial. I'm gonna go for the nuclear option. I, I'm good for that. And uh, I just stopped eating. Totally stopped eating. Like nothing. Not even, not even a Skittle, okay? Nothing. I chewed gum and drank water. That's it. Chew gum and drink water. Chew gum to, to kind of chase away the hunger. You know, you get like a little bit of flavor. Your stomach's growling like mad. Because your body's thinking it's getting, uh, it's getting something. It's like, oh yeah, send the, send the digestive juices, let's go break down this nothing and yeah you uh trust me you lose weight at the rate of about uh almost i don't know about three quarters of a pound a day after after about the seventh day of starving yourself you start losing weight at about that rate about three quarters of a pound to almost one pound per day even though you're drinking plenty of water, lots and lots of water, chewing plenty of gum, and uh, that's all it took. And uh, remaining active, I mean, not like, even though some days I had like almost no energy, but after about a week or a week and a half, your body goes under some weird transformation and you have energy. And your body's actually breaking down its fat fat stores and uh, it's converting that into energy and that's how I won that contest but I don't know after like day 40 uh, I began kind of feeling a little bit faint not totally I felt like hey I could probably soldier on for another 10 or 20 days but I don't know I I kind of I'm like I didn't want to do any uh, irreversible harm to myself so I just and, and I found out you know at day 40 that I was um, 2.5 percentage points in weight loss ahead of my nearest competitor so I figured with one one week remaining in the weight loss contest, then I could probably win. You can't after not eating for that long though, you cannot you can't just go and eat a steak or a hamburger. You gotta you gotta eat like a vegetables and fruits so I started out with the vegetables because they weren't really high you know vegetables aren't as high in uh, natural sugars so it gives your body a chance to sort of readjust to eating food so you start out with the, the lightest type of food possible my opinion I'm no expert but um, yeah no my body transitioned back into eating McDonald's
McDonald's in a couple of weeks. I was <laughs> I was fit as a king back to eating McDonald's. And hot damn did the weight come back on. Woo boy. <laughs> At one point I think I was gaining like uh, two or three pounds a day. was kind of dumb and at some point you know I went from feeling pretty good to like after I gained about 40 pounds back I started feeling like crap again but the first week of uh, eating McDonald's man I don't think I ever felt better in my life but after that yeah I felt like shit and kind of backed off on that a little bit but by that time it was too late there. where did that go right there video.